I'm going to do a little uh, video for you guys today and uh, just show you guys an easy way to uh, stream your video collection from your uh, Linux PC running either um, Ubuntu or Mint or any other Ubuntu derivative. Um, I'm sure it'll work on other um, distros also, but for this tutorial we're just going to be covering either Mint or Ubuntu. So uh, this is a nice free open source uh, software for uh, streaming your video collection over to a um, Android device um, via your Android tablet, smartphone, or in my case uh, I have an MK808, it's like a generic Android set-top box uh, hooked into my TV. So that way I can um, stream any videos that are on my PC just directly over to my TV without having to put anything on a hard drive or a thumb drive or anything like that. I got my whole video collection ready to go. And it always works good, um, plays good, audio is good, everything works right out of the box. There's nothing that needs to be tweaked or anything. So uh, let's go ahead and get to it. Um, the uh, program that we're going to be installing on the PC on our Linux machine is a PS3 media server as in PlayStation 3 media server. Um, you don't even need a PlayStation 3 to uh, make this work. Um, so you're going to want to add the uh, repository that's this here and then um, of course do a sudo apt get update after you add the repository and then uh, sudo apt get install PS3 media server. Um, you guys can pause the video if you want to uh, copy this down. Just going to put this right into your terminal. Um, I'll also add these into the uh, description so you can copy and paste or whatever. But uh, these are the three commands you're going to need to do. Um, there's also going to be an app that you're going to need to put on to your um, Android device. Um, there's a lot of them in the Google Play Store for uh, streaming video over the network. Um, I've tried most of them. And uh, I found this one right here. It's called uh, Media House um, UPnP, which is Universal Plug and Play DLNA Browser. Um, it works great. It's free. There's a paid version also. Um, the paid version doesn't really do anything extra. It's just to support the uh, the dev. Um, the free one works just as good. Um, so you're going to want to uh, install this on your Android device. Um, first, once you get the uh, PS3 media server installed on your uh, computer, you're going to go ahead and open it up. If you're running, I'm running Linux Mint here, so you can open this up. If you're running Ubuntu, you can open up your Linz or whatever. Just type in PS3 and it'll pop right up. Um, it's real simple. Just open it up. As soon as it opens, it's going to start searching your network for. Um, media renders which the render is basically the app that you're going to install on your um, Android device um, it's going to say none found at first unless you already have it installed on your Android and, and already have it up and running it's not a big deal so um, there's just a little bit of uh, setting up you want to do go to the uh, navigation um, share settings and then here you're just going to um, by default, it'll it'll find videos anywhere on your computer. You can leave it like that if you want. Um, I like to um, just open this, and then you could you know tell it the path that you want it to go to where your videos are. I just put in the path to my video, my videos um, folder in my home directory, and then that's where the uh, server automatically uh, goes to uh, fetch your video files. So when you get onto the server on your Android device, that's the folder that you'll be getting into. So just set that up, get this running. You can even you can even close this out if you want because it stays running up here in the system tray. So once you get that installed, just open it up, um, point it to where your um, movie files are, and then you're gonna want to go to uh, open up your uh, Android device and install this uh, Media House app. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that running on my TV.
Okay, so here we are on, uh, this is on my TV, um, on my MK808 little uh, set-top box. It's basically just essentially an Android tablet, um, you know, processor and all that on a usb size stick, you know, that you plug in and use your TV as the screen. Um, so anyway, here we are in the actual uh, Google Play Store on Android, and uh, here's the app. Um, you can just do a search for Media House and uh, you can find it and uh, just install this app. Um, so once you get that installed, go ahead and uh, just open it up. And um, you should have, at this time, have the uh, PS3 media server that we installed on the uh, on our Linux computer, have that you know up and running. So then as soon as you open up Media House, it's going to start looking for servers on the network so let it do its little um, search and there you can see it, it found it um, once it finds something it just automatically goes over here um, you can go devices we'll go back there see and there it is PS3 media server you know it found it that's the name of my uh, computer and then uh, so that's where we're playing from and then playing to is local player MK808 so I mean if you have this on your you can do this on your Nexus 7, your you know Galaxy S3, any Android device, that's it's gonna say this over here. Um, you could even put this on every Android device you have, you know, if you have several of them. So um it's that easy. I mean there's no real setup involved. So once you get that going, just go browse. This is gonna be the um file that you told the the uh, excuse me the folder that you uh, pointed the media server towards when you set it up um, if you didn't point it towards any file at all this when you open this it'll just have your whole home directory here your downloads everything um, so just open that and then here is all the uh, all the stuff in my uh, video folder this is just an identical copy of my video folder you know on my uh, computer it's all there and you can just tap on anything you want and uh, open it up and uh, play it um, this app this particular app it uses whatever media player you have installed on your um, Android device <laughs> Uh, the quality is really good, you know. However, good the quality of the, of the file that you have on your um, PC, it comes across really good. You know, HD looks great, sound is great. Um, so whatever um, this this um, media render program here, this uh, Media House, it doesn't have an actual player in with it, which in my opinion is cool. Um, that's kind of one of the things I like about it because you can use whatever player you want. You can use you know, M player, whichever, whatever one you want, you can just go to the uh, Play Store and uh, download whatever player you want. So if you come across a certain format that won't work with one player, you can go find a player on the Play Store that you uh, that you want to use. So yeah, that's it. Um, pretty simple and straightforward. Um, if you guys have any questions, uh, let me know. Thanks for watching.